Hey, children of the Most High. I am on here to hopefully give you encouragement. Um, I'm going to let you listen to a video that I heard, which brought back actually a dream that I had and definitely has some correlation to it. So we're going to start off with this guy here. I... Uh, his channel name is God's Messenger, and he just had a vision, open eye vision of what's going to happen. Let's hear what he has to say. I was praying and I said, Lord, show me something that confirms what Philip is saying. And what other people have been saying, I mean, Philip's the only one I've heard so far say the thing, but I said, Lord, I need you to show me something. And he said to me audibly, you'll understand this. And he showed me, I, honestly, I could not believe what I was seeing. I seen a, a massive flotilla of Russian vessels sailing past the UK and the, U, and the UK Navy, the Royal Navy, did nothing to stop them. These ships were coming, there was thousands of them, and the UK done nothing to stop them from coming past. Not only that, he showed me that they, they was uh, on their border with China, there was hundreds and thousands of Chinese troops moving into Russia, and he showed the rendezvous between a Russian general and a Chinese general, and them shaking hands, and then he moved off, off up into, an, uh, into the Arctic regions, and then moved all... Prime Minister, whatever you want to call it, proper terms, the people who defend Canada to stand down. And he let Russian troops and Chinese troops walk right through the country into, China, into, into the northern parts of America. And they started to take the country from the north. They started to shoot civilians on the street. So Americans... Your two of your biggest allies are gonna not are gonna are not gonna step in. They're gonna let this war happen. I don't know whether it's a part of the big plan or the big grand scheme of things. I haven't got a clue. But the Lord expressly showed me massive troop movement because I'd understand it, the strategics of it. I don't understand why the UK never stopped these Russian vessels from sailing past the country. I don't understand it. But I do understand that maybe there's, there's not enough of us to stop them. So that's probably why they never... The Canadian government or whatever just let them waltz right through the country. Never, never, They never shot one civilian. They never shot one official. No, no police, no nothing in Canada died. No one died in Canada. It only as soon as they hit the north borders of, of the US, between the US and Canada, that's when the bullets started flying. I've seen jet fighters flying all over the place. Um, I've seen what's it, what looked like to me like fireworks in the air, right? And I think that that's a time the Lord has shown me when this is going to happen. And there's only two times, really, that any country, mine or the US, use fireworks as a celebration, so to speak. And one of them is the 4th of July, and the other one, is the 5th of November over here, which we call Guy Fawkes or Bonfire Night. There's only them two times I can think of where fireworks are going off in the sky. Okay, so you hear that uh, he's been shown that it could possibly be during a time where fireworks um, are going off. And of course, you know, we look at the 4th of July here in the United States. Now, I want to show you a dream that I had. I had this dream January 19th. Uh, I'm sorry, January 1st, 2019. And I, I titled this dream, Will This Be a Sign? Let's hear what happened. Of a university, a big school. Um, I was on the second floor, and uh, it was crowded with lots of people. 
And then all of a sudden, we heard a huge explosion from a distance. And everyone just stopped walking. And we all just stood there and looking around at each other to see if everyone had heard the magnificent explosion. And then all of a sudden, maybe a half a minute later, the force from the explosion hit all the windows and all the windows shattered in the building everywhere and it appeared that it was windows on the ceiling too they all went out it was glass that just shattered everywhere as we dug down and then we knew I mentioned it and we knew it was Russia that had set off a nuke. Everybody began to panic as everybody started to run everywhere outside of the building. And I remember thinking we need to stay inside and then I heard someone mention it as well that the radiation fallout is out there and that we're to stay inside of the building. We're not to run out, try to find cover inside, away from the radiation fallout. But I was trying to get off the top floor onto the bottom floor. So the stairway was blocked and I was trying to climb down. Anyway, I made it to the bottom floor and then there was a guy that pointed out to look up at the moon and so as I looked found myself outside looking up at the moon and it was a planet because we could see the moon wasn't as bright as it usually is it was actually somewhat gray in color there was a planet next to it on the left hand side and a smaller one on the right hand side and I want to say another one in front of that which was very fascinating. The guy mentioned that this is the time, this is the sign of the rapture. He mentioned it several times. And then I looked up again to see the weird alignment of the planet with the moon and a smaller planet to the left and two smaller planets to the right. And I knew it was something going on with the water that we could not leave, couldn't get in the water. Anyway, so yeah, there was a planetary alignment in this dream. And I knew during the time at this planetary alignment that the rapture were to occur. And the guy mentioned it several times to look at the planetary alignment that the rapture is to occur. Now I want to show you something else. So this is Forbes, a news article showing that it's a big year for the solar system as Mars, Saturn, Jupiter, and Venus take turns to look their best and it mentions here in the article that the solar system outer planets will shine brightly in the night sky for 2020 is the year to get yourself a telescope and they say that because three planets will reach its opposition when the earth passes between it and the sun 
so you have this this uh, alignment going on it will shine extra bright Mars Saturn and Jupiter something else that caught my attention too was there will be a rare great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn when the two planets will will appear just 0 0.06 degrees apart it's a once every 20 year event keep that in mind so I was curious what July 4th type of moon would bring to us and what's going on and I did a little research and see that the Independence Day 2020 will end with a full moon and a lunar eclipse everything to know about July 4th buck moon and prenumbral eclipse. So in my dream, I mentioned that one of the, the planets that were aligned with each other, one was like gray. I said the other one was, you know, like a moon. So I'm thinking an eclipse. And if we look at this article, it says here about the, uh, the eclipse. The buck moon is the first full moon of summer 2020 and um, it will appear reach its full phase until 1244 a.m. July 5th it will appear very full I found that fascinating and thought I would look up the full moon um, time of 1244 so 1244 not only mean Jerusalem, which is Jerusalem in Gematria, the Jewish Gematria, but if we look under 1244 itself, I remember who I am, rapture of the rightness. I'm coming soon, my daughter. I thought that was very fascinating, um, the definition for 1244 according to the Gematria. Jerusalem Gematria calculator and lastly was a dream that I just had on the on June the 3rd regarding I, I titled this dream there will be a rapture glanced up again and so then I saw that the two moons had formed a brilliant light a brilliant, colorful, rainbow light around them. And then all of a sudden, you could just see thousands of angels. They were coming through the light. They were coming through the light. And at that time, I was from the street. I was upstairs in someone's house telling them about the two moons. And that's when we saw that the angels were coming through. Thousands of them. And they were going everywhere. We could see them come down to the surface. And they were picking up people. And some people were excited. The ones that were watching, I'm sure, and knowing what that was. And so, so in conclusion, you'll be able to find this video on my channel. All of my dreams correlate with the moons, whether it's several multi multi moons, also that is full moons, and showing that at this time that the rapture is to happen, it could be. Of course, at the same time that Russia does come to try to ta attack the United States. Nevertheless, I thought I would bring you this, all of this information for encouragement to look up that our redemption may be closer than we all think so. Stay close to the Father. Hug and kiss your family. May the Lord be with you. God bless you. Love you. Bye now.